All right, so in a couple days from now, Global will be getting a pretty big update in the form of version 5.1.2. I believe the maintenance is scheduled for March 8th, so we should be getting the update right after it's over. And uh, I guess you can kind of see this as like a mini extension to version Z. It's not quite a full step up. It's not like version Z 2.0, but you know, version Z 1.5 is pretty accurate. And in terms of the actual features we're getting, the first big thing is this My Profile page, which is a new interface that everyone can access for their account that is uh, customizable and also gives you some very interesting information about your account. So the preview image here is very small, but at the top you can see that there is a new title section which allows you to set a title for your account. And these titles are acquired through a number of different ways. Some of them are associated with specific uh, campaigns, whereas others are acquired through uh, missions that are tied to specific events. So for example, for Extreme Z Battle events, you will get a bronze title if you, I believe, clear up to level 30, and then a silver title if you clear up to level 50, and a gold title up to level 77. I'm not 100% sure about those levels because I don't exactly remember what the requirements are, but you guys get the point. Basically, there are three rarities, bronze, silver, and gold, and the higher the rarity of the title, the harder it is to acquire. And uh, from there, you have other information like your account rank, your account name. You can also set a, a character, like a background for your account, and you can choose from any character you currently own. And from there, you also have this new account power level, which is a number associated with your account that is determined by a number of different factors, like the number of hidden potential nodes activated, the number of link skills at max level, the number of stages cleared, and also Dokkan characters awakened. And it's one point for every hidden potential node, a thousand points for every max level link skill, 10 points for every stage cleared, and finally 100 points for every character Dokkan awakened. Now, of course, the uh, more heavily invested you are in the game, you know, monetarily, the more likely you are to have a higher score, but it also is dependent on how long you've been playing the game, how much time you put into the game, and all that stuff. So it's kind of like a way to uh, flex on your friends, basically, if you happen to have a higher account power level than them, right? But it's also a way to show people, you know, how big of a whale you are as well. So uh, that is the account power level thing, which is um, actually a very common feature for gacha games and it's kind of crazy that you know for a collection game like this it took Dokkan this many years this long to actually uh, implement it but nonetheless we have it now so there you go and it also says more titles are scheduled to be added in the future so I think upon release we're getting I'm not sure the exact number but something like a hundred titles and uh, they keep adding them over time so We'll definitely have a lot of titles to choose from at launch and into the future. And if you scroll down the uh, My Profile page a little bit, there's also going to be this little pixel character uh, section, which is something I like to call Dokkan Tamagotchi. And essentially, it's this little pixel Goku that will evolve as you uh, play the game. I think it's mostly based off of just how much stamina you're using, but maybe it's also based on like how many events you're clearing or whatever. But it's something that resets every single month. But during the course of that month, you can level your little Goku from level one to like level 14. And uh, you'll go through various forms, the background will change and all that stuff. And I don't think you actually get any rewards for it, but it's just like a cool little uh, progression thing, I guess. It gives you more of a sense of progression as you clear events and stuff like that. So uh, that's what the little pixel character is. And I think they've said in the future, they're also going to be doing other characters, maybe Vegeta, maybe uh, Gohan, and so on and so forth. So just kind of a cool feature, nothing too significant, honestly. It's not like you're getting Dragonstones for it or anything useful, but it's just kind of it's kind of cool. So that is the pixel character thing. And then 
There are a few other features, like on the subpage, you can check the number of battles participated by each character and the number of stages cleared for each event type. So some more data about your um, account, about your you know progress through the game, which I think is pretty dope. And uh, from there, we have two other new features, which are actually legitimately useful. The first one is an optimization to the filter. So they added a awakening section to your filter, which shows you information about which characters that can be Dokken Awakened, which characters can be Extreme Z Awakened, and also which characters can be awakened into an LR. And uh, there's also an extension to the maximum number of character slots that can be expanded. So before the update, you can only get up to, well only, get up to a thousand more character slots. But after the update, they added an additional 500 slots. So now you can get a maximum of 1500 additional character slots. Now this is not something that will affect, I feel like a lot of people, because most people probably haven't hit the original cap for character slots, but for people like me who did hit that cap and still for some reason need more slots, uh, this is, you know, pretty nice to have, right? So uh, there's that. And finally, we have the, uh, you know, generic fixed some bugs. Although this time they did give us some specific things they're fixing, like the issue that results in a black screen, which is pretty non-specific, but okay, that's good. And uh, also the issue with certain pop-ups. Once again, not very clear exactly what they're talking about, but I guess less pop-ups is good. Oh, actually, you know what? I think I know what they're talking about here. Um, it must be the tutorial thing, right? Where even after they've shown someone a certain tutorial for a certain feature in the game, it just keeps popping up over and over again. So I think that's what that is. Anyways, um, that is everything we can expect to see. I think there might be maybe one or two more things that they're hiding here, but nothing too um, significant. The biggest thing really is this my profile page. I think on JP it's called my data, but either way, um, it's a just cool quality of life thing because it doesn't really affect your gameplay that much, right? But it does, um, you know, give you some more information about your account and allow you to customize a few more things with your account, like the uh, character on your page, the title, your account power level, the little pixel character Goku and all that stuff. So um, I like it. Oh, also, you know, this data about like how many clears for each event your characters have done and also, um, you know, how many clears for each type of event you've done, I think is awesome. So yeah, I like it. Hopefully um, they expand on this page in the future as well. And uh, that is update 5.1.2 guys. Now, I feel like my account power level is gonna be lower than many people might expect because you know, you might think uh, this guy's been playing for a long time, he spends a lot of money on the game, so he must have a very high account level, right? But the issue for me is that I hate to link level, so um, I probably don't have nearly as many max level links as you might think I do, so um, yeah, I definitely will share with you guys my account power level once this update comes out, but it's probably not going to be that impressive, mainly because of uh, how much, you know, max level link skills contribute to your account power level and how much I hate to level links. So there you go, guys. Um, that is going to do it for today's video. Update 5.1.2 is coming very soon within a week. And uh, I hope you guys are excited for it. And uh, that's all I gotta say. As always, if you guys liked today's video, make sure to like the damn video. Sub to the channel if you're new. Hit that notification bell so that YouTube knows you wanna stay up to date with all my latest content. And until next time, have an awesome, awesome day. I'm Tiger with Tiger Uppercut Media. Signing out.